The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. More madness in the presidential campaign. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Now, we knew the campaign was going to be bitter with muckraking all over the place. We knew that, but we didn't know it was going to be downright hysterical this early. Last night, former Republican Party chair Michael Steele was interviewed by Chris Matthews. Governor Romney, the topic. He ran as a full mooner, Michael. You know, you're saying there's no such thing as science. But that's I'm not teaching what he biology. said. Why are you putting those words in his mouth? He's never said he's, he's a flat earther. He doesn't believe in evolution. Those are your words, Chris. And that's how you would like to paint him to be. Because that's Ron, who he is. But that's not who he is. Well, it certainly was on, on, your, on the Grand Wizard crowd over there. Anyway, look. look at our, wait, let's take a look at this. I resent that. Now, come on. Now, what is this Grand Wizard nonsense? Okay, I'm just saying you, the far are right you, party. Are All right, I'll relax. We're Ku Klux Klan. Give me a break. We didn't. Don't, you don't go there with me okay, on that. Okay, great. All right. Thank now, later in that broadcast, Matthews apologized for using the description Grand Wizard. I have no beef against Chris Matthews. He doesn't usually attack people personally. He's simply a committed Democrat. Nothing wrong with that. But to call Mitt Romney a flat earther, to say the governor doesn't believe in science, is simply madness. In a 2007 New York Times article, Romney said, quote, I believe that God designed the universe and created the universe, and I believe evolution is most likely the process he used to create the human body, unquote. So there it is for honest folks, end of discussion. The problem for American voters is that anything goes these days. The Internet is full of unbelievable nonsense as well as gross defamation. And now on some national news programs, we're getting the same craziness. So if you're uninformed, how can you possibly know what's true and what's not true? And the problem is not exclusively on the left. How many times have we heard that Barack Obama was not born in America, that he's a Muslim, a Manchurian candidate, a plant from outer space, <laughs> whatever madness the anti-Obama forces can think up. We live in an age where truth really doesn't matter anymore. Greedy news executives and the net have obliterated it. Journalistic standards have collapsed. The Trayvon Martin case proves that. You can pretty much do anything you want in the media. And the courts don't care. It's almost impossible for a well-known person to win a judgment of defamation. But Talking Points has had enough. So every time I see craziness in the national media during the campaign, I'm going to show it to you. And I hope you will vote with the clicker. That's the only solution to the problem. The investigation focuses on the electronic file, which you'll see, that was presented as President Obama's long form birth certificate to the American people and to citizens of Maricopa County by the White House in April of last year. The investigation then also led us to a closer examination of the President's Selected Service registration card. Upon close examination of the evidence, we are prepared today to say we believe probable cause exists indicating that forgery and fraud may have been committed, not only in President Obama's long form birth certificate, but more disturbing evidence suggests that another fraud may have been committed regarding his selected service registration card. At the very least, I can tell you this. Based on all of the evidence presented and investigated, I cannot, in good faith, report to you that these documents are authentic. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.